come and be filled here at this table. Food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation. You shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. You who labor for justice, you who labor for peace, you who steady the plow in the field of the Lord, come and be filled here at this table, food for all who hunger and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation. You shall live forever in Jesus Christ the Lord. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the gospel of today, the Lord says to each one of us, do not be afraid. You are much more than the sparrows of the earth. Every air on your head has been counted. And God is with us. He looks after us. Why should we be afraid? As we come before this Eucharistic table, let us ask the Lord pardon and mercy for those moments where we have been anxious or frightened. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who sit firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor and the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. God. Lord, in your great love, answer me, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me, answer me. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame has covered my face. To my own kin I have become an outcast, a stranger to the children of my mother. Zeal for your house consumes me, and taunts against you fall on me. Lord, in your great love, answer me, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. Lord, answer, for your mercy is kind. In your great compassion, turn toward me. Lord, in your great love, answer me, answer me. The poor, when they see it, will be glad. And God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, 
and does not spurn his own in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the seas and everything that moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all had sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed. Nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the dark, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and body in Kehena. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the heirs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today's gospel, as well as the first reading, brings home to us beautiful lessons. One is, we have to commit ourselves to God's call. Secondly, when you commit yourself to God's call, the Lord is not going to disown you. You don't have to be afraid of anyone on earth. For example, the first reading of today, Prophet Jeremiah, the youngest of all the prophets. Yahweh God sends him to the people of Israel. 
and when he speaks to them about their evil they did not amend their ways rather they wanted to destroy prophet jeremiah then jeremiah for a while though he sees the sins of the people of israel he keeps quiet then the lord says to him if you keep quiet you will be disowned by me you are my mouth peace you have to speak what i have called you to speak then jeremiah realizes whatever may be the consequences i am not going to keep quiet then he sees all around him they are trying to trap him they wanted to see the downfall of prophet isaiah jeremiah that is today's gospel my enemies they stand around me when i am going to stumble and fall but i am determined to speak yahweh god's words brothers and sisters that is what the lord is also asking is through the gospel of today if you honor me in front of others i will honor you if you disown me in front of the other i will also disown you in front of my heavenly father and the holy spirit but when you are firm committed to my faith in me definitely i will stand by you if you read prophet jeremiah prophet not prophet book of jo- joshua chapter 1 verse 5 after moses has departed now moses god yahweh god told moses to appoint joshua to lead the people of israel to the promised land and yahweh god says to joshua no one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life as i was with moses i will be with you what a beautiful promise god gives because he was so responsible and obliging yahweh god he says i will be with you as long as you live just like i stood by moses i will stand by you the same yahweh god says in the book of deuteronomy through the mouth of moses god will not fail you or forsake you god will not fail you or forsake you if you read about the life of david david also was trying to follow yahweh god and there are so many terror against him just like prophet jeremiah and he says terror all around me lord but i know i will be committed whatever happens to me i will not go against the will of god brothers and sisters in christ today when you look into our life to this time we have two types of fears one is a severe fear a fear of a kind of servant type which is i will not do it i might make a mistake we don't even attempt to do it but we are already preconceiving that it is going to be wrong it is useless fear it is not a constructive fear but the other fear is filial fear this is what saint thomas aquinas says filial filial love of god, love of the father or love, the parental love or god's love in this love fear you will not offend your father you will not offend your mother because you love them so you want to do the best for them and that is filial fear so this type of fear is important in our life it's a constructive fear fear of darkness as a result they discovered light fear of disease as a result they discovered medicine 
fear of war as a result we have formed union united nation so that we can defend each one of us this is constructive fear so we need to have that type of constructive fear in our lives we need to always please god jeremiah feared god if i don't speak yahweh's word he will disown me this is the lord says if you don't fear me i will disown you fearing god means being obedient to the will of god we don't have to worry about what would be the outcome we need to commit ourselves to god's call <coughs> because remember three things god has destroyed evil forever for example when you look into the people of the life of people of israel as they came out of egypt he crossed them dry shod the red sea and in the morning they see all the egyptians are drowned so in that the lord is trying to tell i have destroyed evil i have conquered sin and death jesus died on the cross but he rose again he has destroyed sin and death so god has conquered evil we don't have to be afraid as a result in the early christian community the martyrs were willing to die for jesus they were worried that the souls should not be defiled by the evil one and that is what the lord is also you have to be afraid of those people who would kill the body along the soul if they are only going to kill the body you don't have to be afraid because i will raise you up on the last day the secondly we don't have to be afraid because god he has carried each one of us on eagle's wing that is what the lord says to moses as soon as they reached the foot of mount sinai moses went up the mount sinai to receive the 10 commandments from god yahweh but the people of israel they got frightened we don't have a leader we don't have a god that is useless fear they know yahweh god destroyed evil brought them so safely to this promised land and they are on the midway and yahweh god is not going to disown or forsake you why do we need to be afraid thirdly god himself has brought us god himself has saved us god is our portion and cup why we have to be afraid everything has been prepared by god yahweh and he has got every one of he has got a plan for each one of us why do we need to be afraid brothers and sisters in christ when we come to partake in the holy eucharist let us remember there is nothing going to happen to you or to me because jesus the lord is always with us he has carved each one of us in the palm of his hand let us be certain of his protection let us be always confident god has called each one of us and let us be his faithful witnesses in this world I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. through him we are made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day 
in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we stand around the Eucharistic table, let us present to the Lord all our praise and petitions. <coughs> For the needs of the Universal Church, and in particular for St. Patrick Parish on today, its 75th parish anniversary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the shepherds of the church, may God bless and empower them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God guide them in working to protect the most vulnerable among us, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayers. That God may encourage and guide all new parents as they navigate the joys and struggles of their vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to violence and war throughout the world, may God inspire leaders in pursuing peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from hardships of any sort, may the Holy Spirit grant them hope and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the love of Christ inspire a greater devotion to the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in the light of faith, May they experience the eternal rest and peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the homebound, that they may be healed by the loving touch of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the gift of faith that you have given us and your protecting hand always upon us. As you listen to our prayers, may you provide what is needful for us. This prayer we make through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I have loved you with an everlasting Blessed love. I, love I have creation. called Blessed you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for him, he will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you 
with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and of all is holy. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the heart. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take thus, O love you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when separate was sent, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Archbishop, all the assisting bishops, the order of bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Patrick, St. Vincent Pallotti, we are pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may merit to be conquerors to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hub and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us everlasting life. Stand. 
Brothers and sisters, this is my last video mass in this parish of St. Patrick. And I want to thank everyone, especially the people at the video ministry, the musicians, the musicians, the readers, the altar service especially, and all those who come for the mass and those who view my masses. And I really want to thank you for enriching me in this ministry as a priest. And may the Lord continue to hold each one of you in the palm of his hand. And may Mary, your mother, intercede for all of us, all of us. And so we say the memorari. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one of light to thy protection Implore thy help, so then in decision was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, in thy mercy, yet and answer me. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, 
we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with a constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Be to God. I am weak and I need thy strength and power to help me over my weakest hour. Help me through the darkness thy face to see. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. Help me tread in the paths of righteousness. Be my hate when Satan and sin oppress. I am putting all my trust in thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, 